Hi readers, welcome to Summer Story Channel Purple Pebble. Today I'm gonna read Zip Zip Homework by Nancy Pider. So let's enjoy. Violet was shopping for a backpack because she was going to have homework this year. She saw one on wheels with zippers and snaps, velcro and straps. Perfect, said Violet. For what? said her mother. Homework, said Violet. Every day she rolled her back to school just in case she got homework. The older kids talked about homework. Miss Patience gives tons of homework, said Skye. Be sure you don't lose it, warned Jim. Violet wasn't worried one bit. At her house, Violet had a place all ready to do homework. She liked to practice filling her pack. She would zip, snap, stick and click until her mother called. Violet, you'll wear that pack out. Sometimes she would pretend to be Miss Patience and herself at the same time. Homework not done, she'd say in a big voice. Yes, it is, she would say in a tiny voice. It's a good thing you didn't lose it, young lady. I kept it in this pack. Then Miss Patience would exclaim, Violet, that's the most beautiful pack I have ever seen. Finally, Miss Patience said she had a paper for everyone to do at home. Miss Patience, is it homework? asked Violet. Yes, Violet, said Miss Patience. Violet was thrilled. She tried to decide which pack pocket to put it in. Bring them the business home Violet closed up her pack, zip, stick, click, snap. It was ready for rolling home. That's quite a pack, Violet, said Miss Patience. It's for homework, said Violet. I have tons of homework, hollered Violet when she got home. Everyone has to be quiet while I work. After a homework snack, she went to get her paper. Zip, no, zip. Rip, no, stick. Unclick, no, click. Unsnap, no, snap. No homework paper. My homework got lost. She imagined telling Miss Patience in a tiny voice. What? Miss Patience would be horrified. Violet did not have to pretend to be scared. Look again, young lady. Miss Patience would not be patient. Zip? No. Rip? No. Unclick? No. Unsnap? No. Violet's homework was not there, so she closed her pack for good. Zip, stick, click, snap. Sounds like you finished your homework, called her father. I just put it in my pack, called Violet, because she didn't want to talk about it. At bedtime, her mother said, That rolling pack is perfect, sweet dreams. But sweet dreams didn't come to Violet. Instead, she had zipping, ripping, clicking, and snapping dreams all night long. The next day, Violet walked to school slowly. The homework wasn't too bad, said Tom. It was a snap, said Violet. It didn't take too long, said Ali. I zipped right through it, said Violet. I wish I had a pack like that, said Carrie. Not me, thought Violet. At school, Miss Patience collected their homework. Violet fiddled with her pack. Zip, rip. Miss Patience said, What are you doing, Violet? Violet mumbled. Getting my homework. I finished it and put it in a pack pocket somewhere. Are you looking for this? Miss Patience asked. I found it under your desk after school. Oh, said Violet in a tiny voice. We'll need to talk at recess time, said Miss Patience. When recess time came, Miss Patience said, Violet, the truth is more important than homework, you know. Violet never imagined Miss Patience saying that. I kept the truth zipped up, said Violet. But did you lose the truth? asked Miss Patience. No, said Violet, and she told Miss Patience the truth. Violet did her homework right then. It was a snap. Miss Patience didn't give her a happy face sticker, but she did give her a special homework assignment. That night, Violet told her parents the truth. It was her special homework assignment, and it was harder than the homework she didn't do the night before. Her mother and father did not have happy faces, 
but Violet knew they hadn't lost them. Then Violet got some yarn and tied one piece onto her pack. Perfect, she said. For what? asked her father. For finding the homework pocket, said Violet. The next time Miss Patience handed out homework, Violet knew just where to put it in her pack. Zip, zip, squeak, squeak, rip, zip, click, zip, snap, went all the new rolling packs in Miss Patience's room. Violet got out the homework pocket yarn. Snip, snip. The end. If you enjoy the story time, please click the like and subscribe button and buy a copy for your home library to support the authors and publishers. Thank you.